Hello everybody, it is Imprint Me's Animals here. As you see by the title, I am getting a dog. We've been looking for a dog for about six months now. We've looked at various rescues and puppies and everything, like you name it for getting a dog, we've looked at it. It's been really hard to try and find different dogs that we can get because of we have cats, we have rabbits and guinea pigs and stuff like that and all these criteria and like my mum's working hours and stuff mean that you're crossed off some people's list. So it's been really hard to find one. So the long story short, we are definitely getting a dog, our own dog. However, not just yet. On sometime next week, we are getting a foster dog and we're going to be fostering it for a minimum of two weeks. So we don't know how long yet. It's an emergency foster placement. And so the charity that we've been, we're going to adopt from has now asked if we could foster, which is really exciting. It means we get to trial a dog, see if we like the breed and trial it and play with it and have fun. And we're really, really excited to do it. And we went out and went shopping. <laughs> it's going to be a French bulldog and it is a girl. I can't give much information obviously because after keep it all protected and stuff but when I have her she'll have a special name and I can show you all about her and I'm really really excited she should be coming to sometime in the next week and I will keep you all updated on my Instagram which is Amy's Animals so don't forget to check that out for more frequent updates and knowing when I'm getting the dog and what is happening with it all so yesterday which was Friday the day after we found out we went we couldn't wait we went to pets at home and just went dog shopping and bought all the sort of things we'd need she does come with something she comes with a collar and lead and harness and maybe a bed the first thing i got in my dog haul is for the cats um i got two christmas trees very seasonal they were from the christmas section obviously they were six pounds they go with catnip and it's like a little cardboard that they can scratch on they were six pounds reduced to one pound each so i got two because jules is always scratching at things so i thought Better get one of my leaves. The second thing I bought in my dog haul, again for guinea pigs this time. We're, we're doing well, aren't we? Some treats. This is why pets at home is lethal. I can't go in without buying loads of stuff, but I don't really need it. Um, but the guinea pigs and rabbits have finished all their treats, so I got a deal in there. Of these ones, they're pets home, a brand for four for three pounds. I got five bites of Timothy K. Lindsay triangle is my love, and they're really good because they're really small. Then maize, beans and carrots, like little dried things, and some apple and carrot sticks. Now moving on to the actual dog stuff of what we actually bought for the dog. I'll start with the food items that we got. So one of the first things that we got my, that my mum picked out was this dual feeding bowl. Um, it's called a double diner. I think it's only £8, so I thought it was quite good. It's just stainless steel and has a section for food, section for water, and you can take the bowls out and wash them and things, and it's just slightly raised off the floor, which we thought would be good. She is supposed to be coming with her own bowls. She thought these were cute and go nicely. So then secondly was a bag of food. We got the Harrington's turkey with veg bag. And we only got such a small bag in case she doesn't like the flavour or whatever. And this is the brand that she's currently eating now. So we're keeping it the same. We just thought we'd get a small bag to try it. And then we'll go get a bigger bag if this is the right one. The next things that I got were some treats. And if anybody has any recommendations or suggestions or things I should and shouldn't use, do let me know. We are, I say new to the world of dogs. We're very educated with dogs. We've had dogs, well, my mum's had dogs before, but obviously we're new to owning our own ones. So if anybody has any good products that they recommend, do let me know down below or message me on Instagram. We are open to suggestions. So I got two bags of wag treats. These were 99p each. These are training treats. They're like tiny little bones you can just see in there, which I thought would be good. Um, and then some tasty chunks. That's not a very nice name, is it? Chicken, ham and beef. And I thought these would be good for in your pocket when you're on a walk. Or I just adore training dogs. I'm like doing different tricks and training and stuff like that. So I thought having little ones that you could just give like a few of at a time when you're training and things. Perfect. The next thing we got was from, we went a bit crazy, got a bit excited in the pick and mix section. They have a dog pick and mix, which is really cool. Um, and we got just a bag of, I don't know how much this was, just a bag of like various dog biscuits and things just to try to see what she likes really. We got a pack of just classic classic dog tennis balls. These are just bright colours which will be quite fun for playing in the garden. I think these are £1.75. We then got a Kong. My mum's really wanted a Kong for whenever we get a dog and we just got the, class, the Kong Classic in size medium and you can put, for anyone that doesn't know, it has a hole in the bottom and it's like a board and buster sort of thing and you can put like peanut butter or treats or they, they have Kong themselves have a special brand of stuff that you foam and put inside which is just like just like a squirty stuff that you put inside which is just like a fun little dog treat and just gives them something to do if we're not home or something eight pounds i thought they were cheaper than that but 
it lasts a long time. Next has to be one of my favourite things that I've bought. Yes, I did buy a rubber sprout. Okay, let's just put that out there. It's not really cute. Like, how could you not buy that? This is like the first thing I picked up. I walked in, I was like, right, we're having that. It was from the Christmas section and it was three pounds reduced to 75p. 75p. And so I couldn't not buy that. I just, isn't that just gonna be the cutest thing watching a little dog run around with a sprout? Then the next thing I got, which I really like, which I picked out as well, is this really cute little elephant toy. And it looks quite durable as well for chewing. And I just, my one of my favorite things about dogs is when they walk around with like toys in their mouth and like have their own special toy. So I thought this elephant could be a special toy. Have a squeaker. Let's hope it doesn't find the squeaker in there because it's quite cute without a squeaker. This was six pounds, I think. And lastly on the toys section, we got one of these. Rubber tug of, why oh, keep doing that? Rubber tug of war, 13 inches, great for teeth and gums. And I don't know, just thought it was fun. And all of this stuff we will reuse again when we have our own dog that we're keeping. Um, so we got just, just a lot of fun different things. This was three pounds. We got a little poo bag dispenser and it is rubber and squishy and it has a little opening here. And once you've taken off the carabiner clip, you can just fill them up in there and then they pull out the front and then it's got a little hook. So we just thought it would be good for whoever takes it on a walk, just grabs this before they go and clip it onto the dog, clip it onto your pocket clip onto your school bag. Joking. The next thing my sister picked out and this is the one of the things from the range, the Three Peaks range which is really cool and like luminous and really pretty colours and it is this lead and it has this, it's like reflective strips all down it which is really good because we're walking in the morning and evening when it's dark and like it's like a wetsuit material and then obviously this which I think is going to get full of mud but who knows and then a little clip at the end. And this was £12. The last thing we got in that section was a retractable lead. And this is, it's five metres long and it's got really cool reflective things on it. This one we tested out, we tested out quite a few. And it has a really quick and easy bit here. Especially for a dog that we don't know yet, we haven't met, we don't know how it's going to be on the lead. We thought one of these would be really good because it has a really quick stop and you have lots of control over them. It also has a bit here where you can lock it and so you can keep it at a certain length or just have it retractable running around. And it's just pretty cool. This was... Quite expensive, this was £18, but I suppose that's what you've got to pay for a good quality one. None of them were cheap, to be honest. I thought they were much cheaper than that. And this is actually really cool. This one, you can buy extra thing, can clip onto the bottom here, so like a poo bag dispenser and for treats, which I thought was really cool. And it is a five metre tape, and we got the one in size medium. We got this Baby Fresh spray, and it is to deodorise and refresh. It does say Puppy Fresh, um, and just to spray on them, it conditions their coat at the same time as making them smell nice. And there were quite a few, this one smells, this is meant to be baby fresh. And it does smell really nice. There were quite a few, and we're trying to test the smells, and my mum was spraying them on my coat to test the smell. So now I'm going to go to school in my school coat smelling of babies. Thanks mum. Cute new perfume. And this is the brand Groomers, and I think this was £5.50, or £8. I can't remember, I don't have the receipt with me. We paid in three separate transactions because my mum paid for something I'm going to show you in a minute. Then I paid for most of like, the little accessories and the guinea pig and cat stuff. Then, my, then Zoe paid for the leads. So we all kind of split it, us three. Then this one from Pets at Home that we went to Sainsbury's afterwards and picked up a bag of nappy sacks just for spare poo bags and to refill in here. Um, these are baby nappy sacks are much cheaper than the dog ones. Even though some of the dog ones are biodegradable and these smell nice. These have a bit of a scent as well. And a pack of baby wipes as well, sensitive ones because you need baby wipes when you have a dog. And especially for French bulldogs who need their nose and ears and creases wiping and cleaning and stuff because they have all these little folds of skin on their face. So got some baby wipes there. I think it's like 60p. This is one pound fifty I think. I just forgot to mention in the food aisle we just got a free scoop as well and it has little measurements on the side as well because we don't know how much it's going to need feeding yet. And the next thing which we didn't actually buy I already had is this pink fleece blanket it has a mini mouse on it and this was from Disneyland Paris. I have so many blankets that my mum said to use one of my ones to give it its own blanket to snuggle in and when travelling and things. So that's a really cute little pink one. And then my favourite thing that we bought, I don't think you're ready for this, no, I don't think the camera's wide enough either. A dog bed. How cute is that? I'm not sure I'll show you, but it's got really nice, soft, fluffy material and it's like grey on the outside. 
and then this can be turned over as well and it can all be machine washed you take off this little thing I thought this was really cute it is machine washable non-slip base it can be dual sided you can turn it around and we liked how the edges were stiffer and like propped up than some of the ones you see which are all squishy and she was going to feel really secure and cosy in this and it's just so nice and this was £30. That is everything that I picked up for the new foster dog. I'm so excited and I hope you are too. Don't forget to comment down below any videos you would like to see when I do get it. And give this video a thumbs up. I do so many hauls, don't I actually, to be honest. Don't forget to follow my Instagram, Amy's Animals, for more frequent updates. And I will definitely tell you when I'm getting the dog and things like that. And I'm hopefully going to film more videos. I'm in the middle of exams at the moment. I have three weeks of exams and then half term. So it's been quite hard to film and find the time to film as well. It's been raining all the time. So I hope you can bear with me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Next video will probably be with the dog, which is so exciting. Thank you guys and I'll see you next time.